fact, speaking with Andy Tudor this morning from Nexus Minerals. Andy, morning. Morning, Andrew. Look, uh, assays in this morning here for that uh, that diamond drilling program undertaken at the Crusader Templar uh, project. Of course, back in June, I believe it was, you put out that preliminary scoping study. And this campaign, this was one of the one of the items required to really get that scoping study finalised. Yeah, correct. So that was, and that's always the the natural process of of these things. You know, we we did. It's almost do a preliminary scoping study, have a look at it, and go, what what don't we know? And and so hence the decision was made. You know, because it was still very positive to press on and and do this work. So yeah, we did the diamond program, what just under fifteen hundred meters, and importantly, yeah, you know, it was around the metallurgy, geotech the rock the waste rock characterization and water so you know then we went out to the individual consultants and saying all right what do you need what do you want to make sure that we have all the answers let's not leave any uh, anything unanswered so each of them put in what their requirements were and and this is this is the results of that work so at a, the highest level i suppose one it's it's a fantastic result because there's no huge positives and no huge negatives which is you don't, don't really want either we really wanted this to be quite vanilla um, and just to say, well, look, yes, this is exactly as you had put it in your original scoping study. So uh, the metallurgical uh, work firstly, then, you know, when you're selecting the holes, you know, you're not after, you know, the highest grade. We're not aiming for, for, for that. You want the most representative samples and those that also mirror what the RC results are. So, you know, your all body and what it looks like. So, you know, the original scoping study came up with you know, around 1.75 grams as a grade. So as you can see there, you know, some of the results from 14 at okay, 2.3 from 24 metres, 9.4 at 2.03 from 51, and 19 at 1.83 from 65. You know, these are what the ore body looks like. Now, it's that high 1.75s and, and just above it. So perfect outcome there. And also there was a bunch of mill specific requirements from third party toll treatment options. You know, they want to know a lot more detail around that or if they're going to accept it. So that's been really positive as well. Again, no surprises. Everything that's come through uh, the, that uh, report has, uh, has just said, yeah, the ore is, uh, is, is the kind of ore you would want in your uh, in your treatment plant and, uh, and very, very sort of successful results there. So vanilla, very happy with that. Um, Geotech the same, the Crusader uh, component uh, of the study showed that the walls and the stability was almost exactly as we predicted it. The Templar with a deeper weathering profile, you win and you lose. You know, we lost a little bit. The angles of the walls need to be a bit shallower, but then you've got a lot more free dig. So you'd make a lot of saving in the drill and blast component. So again, it's ended up almost a neutral result by the time we've done that. The waste rock, um, no indications or any concerns in regard to acid forming material, anything like that, neither the nasties that you uh, you certainly don't want to have. Um, we don't. And uh, and then water was the final part. And again, we've got a mo obviously multiple uh, mines all in and around us. So um, we weren't expecting anything out of the ordinary there. And exactly that's what's happened. So the results are as expected for an eastern gold fields deposit of this type, of that depth, that's the sort of water you know, influx you're going to have. So no surprises there either. So no, across the board, really happy with uh, with all of the results. Um, and it's uh, yeah, it's been um, very satisfying to, to, to get this uh, information in. And so what is the status, Andy, of the, the updated scoping study? Yeah, so, so the technical, if you like, components now we've got, Outside of that, obviously, is I suppose the human component and the relationships component. So, you know, in the background, we've been working through with you know, technical services teams, you know, yellow equipment mining uh, operators, uh, haulage contractors, and this third party mill um, arrangements. So, all of those um, individual components have been working alongside in tandem with this work, and we're nearly there with all of those as well. So, in the coming couple of weeks, yeah, we expect to have those in a in a state where we'll be able to sit down with our um, scoping study consultant and uh, and make the update. So again, a couple of weeks away till we get that squared away. He'll then take a couple of weeks to do his work. So we, we, we've we've been aiming for the end of October. We'll either come very close to it or just into uh, into November. But uh, either way, it's uh, it's looking very very good at the moment. And meanwhile, Andy, how's the the air core drilling going? 
yeah, look, great. Uh, really, it's um, uh, you know the learnings of all of this work that we're doing at Crusader Templar obviously then expands out to the broader Wallbook project. There's still 192 square k's we've got in that project to cover. We're out there doing these sort of 18 targets done four, now we're testing the next four. Um, the first two, 2.1 and 2.2 um, MC targets uh, have been completed. We're up at 5.2 at the moment. Rig's turning well, all the work's going well, and uh, we're liking what we're seeing coming out of the ground. So um, you've got to be in these things to win them. These are parts, uh, prospects that uh, nobody's uh, ever been to in the past, and we're giving them a bit of a shake. So really happy to date. Uh, yeah, progress is good, and, um, yeah, we'll hopefully keep seeing some, uh, some good rocks coming out of the ground. It'd be great to get an update. Andy, thanks for your time. Thanks, Andrew.